What's going on guys, my name is Zach or Optic 2 bar and welcome to video 2 of my basic training series in After Effects. This series is designed for people who don't know much about After Effects and hopefully it'll give you the foundation for you guys to do the more advanced stuff. And this video is on compositions and compositions are pretty important in After Effects and I'm going to go ahead and explain what it is. So think of a composition as a sequence inside of a project. And you can have as many sequences as you want. And the cool thing about them is, here, let me show you. I'm going to go to Composition, New Composition, or just press Control N as a shortcut. I'm just going to go ahead and make my main comp. Set the duration to like two minutes. And I went over all of these settings in the previous video, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want to, or just copy down these settings. Press OK. Alright, so as you can see, we have a, a composition now, and this is our main composition. Right, we went over this in the last video, so we all know about that. But what happens if I take one of my clips, and instead of making a new composition just for the clip, what you can do is take your clip and just drag it down to this button, and when you let go, it will automatically create a composition that has the perfect settings for your clip, and is the exact same length. So it's an easy way to get the perfect composition for a single clip. As you can see, it created a composition also in the project panel. And you can see the compositions have this icon, while the clips have these icons. I want to remind you guys that you can download these files that I'm working with in the description. So go ahead and do that. I'm just going to drag this back out here. Each composition has its own tab here, so you can tab between your compositions. And if I created, let's say, another composition really quick, you can see that just pops up in a new tab automatically. If you close one of these tabs, though, it's all good. You didn't lose anything. You just have to open it back up. So that was this one. So if I double-click this in the project window, this composition, it'll open it back up. You can also see a list of your compositions right here under this drop-down menu. So why do you want to add stuff to a new composition instead of just dragging in clips like we did in the last video? Well, each composition actually acts like a video file. So if I took one of my compositions and dragged it into my main composition, it looks just like our other clip. So compositions are a great way to keep things organized, because if I go into a composition... So let's say, for example, I wanted to add something inside of my compositions with just a clip. So let's say I wanted to add a lens flare or something. So I'm going to do that really quick by going to Layer, New, Solid, or Control y on your keyboard, and just make a new solid. And then I'm going to search for an effect called Optical Flares, which is an outside plugin. I'm going to drag that onto the solid. And here's just something to show you. I'm going to just use the default lens flare. So if I just bump up the brightness a little bit just to show you guys, if I had this lens flare right here, obviously this looks awful, but let me just explain. If I wanted to scale up the clip or do something to the clip, you can see that the lens flare does not stick. It just stays in the spot that it belongs. Well, in the main composition, I could take that composition, and if I scale it up or rotate it, you can see that the lens flare is stuck. So what it basically does is it takes everything in the composition, in the first composition, and it compresses it, and it pretends like it's just one layer. It's so useful in so many different situations. It's basically like doing a bunch of work on a clip, and then rendering it out, and then bringing it back in. Except for, the cool thing is, you can always go back and change stuff. You don't have to re-render anything. So the point of this video, basically, is you should get in the habit of taking each clip and dragging it into a new composition, before you drag it into the main composition. So instead of importing raw clips into your main composition, you should actually import a composition of that clip, if that makes sense. That way you can always go back into the composition with just each clip. So here is just one single clip. So it's much easier to make changes like color correction, add effects, and it keeps it much more organized than trying to do everything in your main comp. And remember, a composition is just like a video file. So I could even make a new composition and drag my main composition into that composition. You can just stack compositions on top of each other 
and it makes it much easier to work with. The process of taking a clip and dragging it into a new composition, that's called pre-composing a clip. And you can always do this at any time inside of a composition by selecting a layer, going under layer, and pre-compose. This will create a new composition with the selected layer, or layers if you select multiple layers. And then you have some options on what you want to do with that composition. So if I press OK here, for example, you can see that layer just turned into a composition. And if I double click this layer, it'll open up that composition that we just created. So hopefully using compositions makes sense to you guys and hopefully you guys will use them instead of making your main composition super super messy. So before we go, I'm going to show you an example of how I use compositions in a project. So here is one of my recent projects and you can see all of these tabs are different compositions. Most of them are pretty simple you can see. They just have a few layers and then I would take those layers and put them into the main composition. This one for example, there's things like this optic logo, different shine effects, and all sorts of other things that were inside of a pre-composition. And then what I would do is I would just take it and drag it to my main composition and it would show up as one layer. So all of these layers are compositions. So as you can imagine, I have a lot of compositions. And what I do is I usually make a folder that has all my compositions to keep things organized. But I use compositions a ton and hopefully you guys will use them too. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been my second video of my basic training series. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. That always keeps me motivated. But if this stuff is too easy for you, make sure to check out some of my more advanced tutorials. If you guys missed my previous basic training video, the link will be in the description or annotated on the screen. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.